Hello everybody and welcome to beautiful St. Augustine, Florida. Today, we're going to the alligator farm. We're actually gonna do a lot of stuff in this video, I think. But today will be alligator farm focused. Then we'll do some other stuff at the end of the video. I think they have every single species of crocodilian in the world there, so that'd be really cool to see. A lot of it will probably just be kind of a montage because it's gonna be way too much. It's like the zoo, there's just way too much to go over. But I'll try to include as much as I can. And yeah, let's do it. This is one of their like biggest, um, just regular gator exhibits. These are all adult and they do feedings here. I think we'll be here for one feeding, so I'll show you all that, but there's definitely some big guys in here. Like, I don't know what this perspective is like, but this is a huge American alligator, another one. And then that guy is huge over there here. When this lady walks by, you'll get perspective. Look how big he is. Now this is the type of stuff I like. Florida's native reptiles. Let's see what they got in here. Florida cottonmouth, okay. There's an albino one back here. And he's probably the only guy in there. Dusky pygmy, really big one right there. Copperhead whose cage is being serviced right now. There he is. Man, if I could have any job, it'd probably be doing what that person's doing. Hog nose, very cool. Sit right there. And then Florida King Snake. I might actually get one of these eventually, but he is, I don't know what he's doing. Eastern Diamondback. Cool. I think they call this um, the lagoon or something, but there's this huge area all the way from here down to the end of this boardwalk. And Ed Ballou, an aquascape guy, is actually working on the filtration system for this to clear up the water. The water is actually a lot clearer right now than it was last time I was here, so I don't know if he's done anything with it yet, but it's pretty cool that he's working on it. There's like tilapia yeah. in here, which are invasive technically, but pretty cool. Look, there's an alligator coming through. That is so cool. That would be awesome if you caught one. So cool. Hello. Okay, so that crocodile we saw in there used to be the largest crocodile in captivity. He died a long time ago. My parents came and saw him and stuff and got to feed him a long time ago. It's just pretty cool. <gasps> he has no water in his closure. I wonder where he is. But they have one here now named Maximo. There's usually right here, but there's no water in here. And um, he is, I think, bigger, but he's still not the biggest in captivity now. Okay, so in this kind of medium-sized um, enclosure, we have Siamese crocodiles, American alligators, speckled caiman. American snappy or alligator sandwich. Oh, ooh, I need to find that. Um, Sweet front of Cayman and Hall's New Guinea crocodile. And let's see if we can spot them all. Most of them are definitely American alligators. Here, some type of crocodile. I'll have to look at a thing to know which one. Not the best crocodilian identifier, but it's still cool to see all of them, you know, kind of living together here. I'll see if I can find that alligator snapping turtle too. And that is definitely the caiman we saw on there. They have such a distinct head. They're some of the coolest looking crocodilians in the world. I believe those are two Siamese crocodiles right there. Super cool. I think this actually might be Siamese and that might be the spectacle caiman. I'm not positive though, as I told you, I'm cool with identifications. Okay, now I changed my mind. This is definitely a crocodile and that is definitely a caiman. There's two kinds of caimans, but I think it is the spectacle because it's not as dark as the guy we saw over there on the other side. But it's cool to see, you can see their head shape difference from the top like this. You see those caimans have much more significant ridges over their eyes and that's a one decent way you can tell. And then that is just the classic crocodile shaped head. Very cool. Okay, we got the land of crocodiles area. I'm gonna try to go through this by myself so my parents don't slow me down and prevent me from talking to you guys. We got a Orinoco crocodile. There's another Orinoco right here who has his mouth open. Looking very photogenic. More Let's crocodile. All the way in the back, he's moving around. Rod snouted caiman. Taking in some sun. 
Indian Gario, which is one of my favorites. They're just so cool looking. They can actually get huge. I think they can get 20 some feet. Look at them. I think they're exclusively fish eaters as well. And there's almost none left in the wild. So it's pretty sad. Philippine crocodile. Looking very colorful and cool. Different angle, angle of the uh, Gario right there. Such a beautiful animal. Now this is so cool. I think I saw this exact crocodile because it's a young one a few years ago. And I'm gonna show you the picture of that. I think I have it on my Instagram, but I'll throw that in now. I think this might be the same exact one. It might be my favorite crocodilian. That is such a beautiful animal. But at that size, it's so cool. Siamese crocodile, bunch of them out there. A few of them basking, look at their yellow mouth. That is quite cool. Chinese alligator, one of two alligator species, the other one obviously being the American alligator. Now this is a Johnston's crocodile. More Johnston's crocodiles. Sorry, I cannot get a good angle on this dude. Mugger crocodile, he's kind of far away, you can't see him very well. He's Walt D. We have an African slender snouted. Crocodile, and she has some babies right there in the back. Cuban crocodile, pretty cool. West African crocodile, black caiman. So you're in like the uh, Amazon River and stuff. Smooth fronted caiman, you can see him looking at me straight through there. Cool depiction of where all the caiman are. Same, so there's the black caiman that goes through the Amazon, which is all through there. And finally, Nile crocodiles. They're right here. Every single species, I think there's 24, so let's see. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Ooh, I was wrong. I was close though. Pretty cool. And it says they're endangered status as well. Critically endangered, uh, critically endangered. Kind of sad to see that most of these are critically endangered and there's obviously some least concern, some just regular endangered, but it is sad. The American crocodile is right there, right in the center of the frame. You see the difference in the snout? They said there's only one in this entire entire swamp area, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, he's right there in the center right now. Okay, we are out here at Guana River State Park. We just saw that gopher tortoise that you just saw as well. Um, oh, there's a bunch of lizards everywhere. But we're doing a little herping. It is the afternoon. It's like 6 p.m. So we're hoping to get some stuff moving. So let's do it. Not a herp, but there is some deers out there. I'm sure alligators prey on them sometimes. There he goes. Little baby gator right here. You'll probably see the mom and other babies. There's a section further up that way that they're always at. So we saw this little guy. He had to be moved because someone was driving through here. Some kind of slider. It looks just like a yellow belly. Yeah, he hissed at me a little bit. He's a little angry. Oh my goodness, y'all see the color on this guy? That is insane. He looks so cool. That is such a neat turtle. Okay, we'll put this guy back. As you can see, I believe it's a female. Decently short claws. I'm not sure. I think it's a female still. There she is. There you go, little girl. They go go for tortoise. Hey buddy, you're not very skittish like your friends usually are. Hey. What is that? What are you doing? It's okay. It's okay, you're not gonna do anything. You're so cute. There you go. <laughs> Look, he's eating. Don't hiss at me, I'm not doing anything. 
get her right here and the water is so clear you can actually see her underneath it which is so cool you ever get to see that she's just relaxing that's awesome so we got my first catch of the trip this is a little southern black racer I'm trying to support him a little bit here super cool they always hang out right in the edge of these little these little paths we're on just walk down look at the edge try to see him but uh there he is he bit me a couple times but he's well behaved now so this guy's scientific name is Kaluber constrictor and they're related to things like coach whips and stuff like that very cool Mm -hmm. uh, this little guy go right here. Here you go, buddy. That's so cool. Caught another one. This guy just Bad struck thing. at me a few more times. Cheers, let him go. <laughs> Guys, there's a sea turtle right here. I think he's he's eating whatever plant this is on the shore. I think. Oh yeah, he's right here. that I've never been so close to a wild sea turtle in my life that is so cool look at him he's eating that stuff he's eating he's just scavenging that is so cool I'm like five feet from a wild sea turtle there's little shells growing his back. There's another one right here. Look at that. How cool is that? Hey buddy, you are beautiful. Hello. Look at him go. You never get to see this, this is crazy. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And that is about it for our Florida trip, guys. We're leaving this morning, kind of sad, but we'll be back another time to do more herping and stuff like that. Saw tons of black racers, we saw some gators, stuff like that. Not much in the way of snakes, but at least we caught a few things and we had a good time, so that's all that matters. I appreciate you guys watching. I will see you next time. Take care of yourselves. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, do all that stuff. Join my Discord down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.